This is a presentation on Katherine Kokova's comfort theory. As per Katherine Kokova's website, Comfort Line, she received her nursing diploma in 1965. In 1987, she graduated from her Master's of Nursing program and then worked on a dementia unit where she began thinking about the concept of theory. From 1991 to 1999, she continued working on the comfort theory and received her doctorate in nursing in 1997. Comfort is a basic human need. The goal of comfort theory is to enhance comfort in order for patients and or families to participate in health-seeking behaviors. Health-seeking behaviors include internal, external, and peaceful death. The taxonomic structure of comfort is made up of types of comfort and context in which comfort occurs. Along the top of the chart, you will see types of comfort including relief, ease, and transcendence. On the left-hand column, you will see context in which comfort occurs including physical, psychospiritual, environmental, and sociocultural. 75-year-old man, stage 4 lung cancer, who's decided to do comfort care in his home. He's on oxygen and PRN analgesics for the pain. He is often unsteady when he ambulates due to the pain and shortness of breath flare-up. He lives alone on a farm and admits that he doesn't shower because it typically takes too much out of him due to the shortness of breath. He's got a poor appetite, but sometimes manages to microwave meals brought to him by his neighbors. As far as the comfort theory goes, I would be concerned about the client's symptoms and whether or not they are managed, so I would do full assessments including a pain assessment and shortness of breath. How is he coping mentally while living alone? So I'd want to know more about his family, friends, and neighbors who are around for extra support. And what is he doing in his spare time? I'd also want to know with that isolation and diagnosis if he's experiencing any anxiety or depression. The setting for our virtual lunch would most likely take place via Zoom as we live in different countries. I would have questions for Dr. Kokoba such as, Burr House 2021 discusses the high prevalence of nursing shortages. Shortages can cause increased nursing workloads and more time constraints for patient care. What concepts would you emphasize to fourth-year nursing students and new graduates who will start work in the midst of these shortages in regards to incorporating comfort theory into practice? My next question would be, in my hometown, we have no hospices or end-of-life facilities other than our hospital. The palliative care rooms are on the same unit as the medical floor, with nurses assigned acute medical patients as well as palliative care patients. In school, we are taught to prioritize patient care and needs by the ABCs, so airway, breathing, and circulation. What advice would you give to these nurses to optimize the use of comfort theory practices in an environment and culture that is difficult to prioritize comfort in certain times? VO 2020 states that applying comfort theory into nurses' daily lives may act as a protective barrier against the mental health impact of COVID-19. This is from page 639. When you originally established the comfort theory, was it meant to be all-inclusive of patients as well as nurses, or has this concept evolved over time? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.